What's going on everybody, I'm Bradford Skeldorado. What I have today is a deal that I never thought I would find at Walmart. So whenever I think of getting a pre-built gaming PC, Walmart's not the first place I would expect to look. But whenever I was looking online, I ended up finding this thing was in my store that I could pick up today, and it ended up being an absolute great deal. For $499, I found this HP Victus 15L that comes with a Ryzen 5 5600G CPU, an RX 6400 GPU. It has eight gigs of RAM, a 500 gig NVMe SSD, and a 350 watt 80 plus gold rated power supply that has an additional eight pin connector in case you wanna upgrade the GPU in the future. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take this thing right out of the box. I'm gonna set it up, download some games. I'm gonna see what kind of performance we can get out of this thing. Then I'm going to take it, I'm going to configure it with two 8 gig sticks of RAM just to see if there was any type of bottleneck or anything that we may have been running into playing those games. I'm going to retest everything. Then finally what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to add a RTX 2060 into this thing with that 350 watt power supply to see if there's any issues and to see how it actually performs with adding an upgraded GPU into this. So I'm excited about this one, $499 for a computer that's brand new out of the box. I'm ready to jump into it. Let's get to it. So the first thing that I wanted to do before we started gaming was to log into the AMD Adrenaline software and verify that the drivers were up to date. Next, all I wanted to do is just kind of open up Task Manager, see how everything was running, make sure that we weren't having any type of issues. Everything was good to go. So let's download some games and see how this thing runs. All right, so all this gameplay was the initial benchmark to see how this thing would game straight out of the box. This is the eight gigs of RAM and everything else is just the factory settings. Also, I decided to go with high presets or very high, whatever was a setting that I could easily mimic. So I didn't have any differences or recommended settings per the game based off the GPU itself. All right, so my expectations have already been exceeded. I think for $500, this thing is is a gold mine for everything that you get and that kind of performance and yes i did want to run cyberpunk because it is such a taxing game and i just wanted to test it to see if it would be manageable with this system now the 22 fps is not a high number obviously but honestly the game ran very smooth i didn't have any stuttering there wasn't anything that was I, I wouldn't have known that it was only running at 22 fps if i didn't have the numbers right there on the screen now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add that other eight gig stick i'm going to run the numbers and then i'm going to run the test again with that 2060 and i'll put those numbers up so you can see how those are but honestly i'm i'm a fan of this thing i've never had an an hp omen this is on that omen line but honestly this thing for five hundred dollars it really does does its job and you're not being sold something that you're you're forced to have to upgrade this thing out of the box will perform and get you right in the game with all your buddies so what i'm going to end up doing is i'm going to show you how to pull this thing apart how to swap the ram out the the brackets and everything how to remove it all so uh, you'll see real quick and how easy this thing is within five to 10 minutes you can have this thing with a new GPU and more RAM very, very easily. I also added a one terabyte hard drive just so we have more room for game storage. 
So at first glance, this thing does look just like an HP Elite desk, minus the drive bay that they normally have. It does have some branding with the name. Um, on the front, the RGB display right here, some additional uh, venting for more airflow and more of that additional branding on here. One thing that I will say that I would recommend is getting you other Torx head fasteners because these this whole thing is held together with these or a flathead screwdriver works well too. I have found out that these Torx bits actually do work a lot better. Okay, so once we have the side panel removed, what I recommend doing next is popping this front plate off. Now, you wanna be very careful because this front plate does have your front IO in it, so just make sure you're, it, it comes off very easy. Do not try to force it. If you feel anything that feels like it's binding, uh, definitely check it and make sure. Once you get these three tabs off, you just kinda of wanna swing it out. It does have this cable for that RGB on that front logo. Just set it off to the side. Everything's good to go. If you want, you can disconnect it. Just make sure you hook it up before you reinstall that front panel. Now, this side uh, bracket right here, the side panel has one fastener in the front. Once you get that off, just grab it and pull it open. This just kind of swings down. It does have three little tabs that will slot in there. So when you put it back on, make sure you just install those and then stand it up to meet that hole right there. Now, this is gonna be the hard drive bay. I have added a one terabyte drive to it uh, just for additional storage, but it will have one fastener right here in the front that is connected to this drive bay. Now, once you get those undone, remove that fastener, same thing, this swings out and it comes right out. Make sure you, all your wires are disconnected. Now, you have everything accessible on the inside. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna end up swapping this RAM out. And RAM, honestly, is one of the easiest modifications you can do to your PC. All you gotta do is take these retaining clips on the dim slots, Open them up and the RAM stick comes right out. The only thing you have to watch out for whenever you're installing it is if you notice this notch right here in the, the RAM stick itself is not directly in the center. Make sure you line it up with the orientation of the dim slot. Open up all of your retaining clips. Line the top up, slide the bottom in and firmly press until you hear two clicks. We're gonna do the same thing with the other stick. Make sure it's the right direction. Make sure our retaining clips are open. Line it up. Just like that, you've upgraded your RAM. All right, so one thing that's different on this PC that a lot of the Dell Optiplexes or the HP Elite Desk uh, that I noticed is it does have a fastener right here that holds this uh, GPU uh, in place. So once you remove that, basically you have this little tab. Once you open that up, you're good to remove your GPU. So the main thing you need to worry about whenever removing a GPU is this retaining clip back here. Once you have a firm grasp on your GPU, just slow, slowly pull it out and wiggle it back and forth. It will feel like it's very stuck in there, but honestly, just a little back and forth and you've got it out. So like I mentioned with this power supply, this is your additional eight pin power connector. So what all you have to do is remove it from this retaining clip right here, line these two up and plug in your new GPU and you should be good to go. All right, next is taking our 2060. All we're gonna do is line it up with that PCIe slot.
Make sure everything's lined up. Don't force it. Just make sure it inserts into that slot. Now we've got our GPU in, we'll put our uh, retainer fastener back in here. And we are ready to hook up our power supply. All right, now it's time to restore everything. So basically we are going to take our hard drive. Like I said, line these three tabs up. Swing that in, take your fastener, secure it in that front panel. All right, so now our hard drive is completely installed. What we're gonna end up doing is installing this support. Line those three tabs up the bottom, clip this inside, take your fastener, and secure it in place. Once you get all that done, you just wanna take your front panel. So there is a little tab on this inside that kind of helps you line everything up. Make sure your wires are all inside. Same way you took it off, you're gonna put it on. So line it up on that edge. Make sure everything's lined up. Those three tabs are good to go. Everything's ready to be reassembled. Last but not least, we're gonna put our side panel on. Make sure it's nice and snug. We've got that retaining clip right there. All you gotta do is just tighten that up and you're good to go. All right, so what more is there to say about the little HP Victus? This thing is, honestly, in my opinion, this is an incredible purchase. So I did say I would go over the pros and cons to this PC. Uh, so honestly, the pros would be that it does have a dedicated GPU. You're not running on onboard graphics. It does have the ability to have some expansion. So you can add that additional RAM. You can add another GPU with that eight pin connector. It's got an SSD, so you have very fast boot, very fast operation with the, the computer. Um, so anything along those lines, it's very cost effective, very affordable. The, the price to performance that you get out of this thing is, is in, incredible. The cons that I had with this PC would be uh, the ventilation. So not necessarily just the ventilation, the GPU did seem to run a little hot. It was running 78 to 82 degrees at times. And I think it's just based off it having a small heat sink and that small fan. Another thing with the ventilation is I would have liked to have seen an extra fan hub on the motherboard. If you do want to run an additional fan, you would have to uh, buy a splitter and then secure it to that inside panel that is just below the hard drive and end up venting in through that side panel itself. So overall, I'm very happy with this purchase. If you have any questions, if there's anything that I may be forgetting, if there's something that I should have done or could have done better, please let me know below. If there's anything that you're curious about with this system, like whether it will stream, if there's any certain game that you would like me to do, please also let me know down below. I do greatly appreciate you watching this video. Please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. I plan on doing more of these as they come along, um, along with testing and adding to, to see if there's anything, how we can potentially break this thing or make this thing really, really cool. So thanks. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.